from the Lewis Corporation recently announced his upcoming wedding with his fiance. You haven't showered yet. Let me prepare for you. Jealous? No. You're a perfect match. I know who I am. That would be better for you. Don't forget my rules. I won't. As long as you give benefits enough, I will satisfy you also. Officer, he couldn't have committed murder. My dad is innocent. Why won't the police even reveal the victim's identity? I've got no other options left. Please help him. Andy left the country yesterday. He wouldn't be able to assist you. You will sleep with me. And I'll help you. Jimmy, are you crazy? Andy is your brother. Andy just adopted. No my actual brother. Besides, you two have already broken up, right? You have no other option but to ask me. If it weren't for your beauty, I wouldn't even get involved. If I agree, will you save him? Your father has been convicted of murder. I can guarantee his life can be spared. But the choices on how to proceed are up to you. But the time is already running out. Cindy, your father took my father's life. I will make you suffer enough pain, and you will pay for my father's life. Hello, Snow. I'll be there soon. Don't forget to take your medications. Okay, Jimmy. Since we're getting married, let's end our relationship here. What right do you have to make demands of me? You probably forget your father's life is still in my hands. I haven't grown tired of you yet. As long as you behave well, I won't harm you. <laughs> After three years, have I still not warmed your heart? Mr. Lewis, welcome. What kind of wedding style are you and Miss White like? I'm good with whatever you choose. All right, so Cindy, come here, please. Come here, pick a style for both Mr. Lewis and Miss White. Cindy is our head stylist here. Then, please help us, Cindy. Stylist, assist me in choosing a style as well. What, do you want to do this in another place? Jimmy, your fiancé is still a sight. So what? Can't we do this while she's out there? Jimmy, you're about to get married. What are you doing? I've given in to you for three years and now is enough. Let's end up this. Cindy, you're just my pet. You can't escape without my permission. Jimmy, are you finishing changing? <laughs> Meet me at Bayview tonight. <sighs> you touched something dirty just now. Wipe your hands. What's wrong? Don't you like it here? No, I'm very satisfied. I want to invite Miss Clark to be my wedding stylist. What do you think? I'll go with whatever you want. <laughs> Hello? Hello, Cindy. It's Andy. 
I've been returned from aboard. Let's meet tonight. I've been waiting for you at our usual spot. Cindy, I've been thinking about you all the three past years. Let go of me! Are you still upset with me for not helping your dad? I now outside your house for all night and you wouldn't even see me. So what's the use of saying all this now? I had my reasons for going aboard. If I had to know about your dad's situation, I would never have left you to face it alone. But I admit I let you down. And I will make it up to you. Please forgive me. Okay? Annie, we moved on a long time ago. I have something to take care of. I have to go. I never expected the first thing my big brother would do upon returning isn't to see his own family, but to come see you. You two seem pretty close, huh? Sorry, I really have to go. Cindy! Jimmy, don't do this! Jimmy! What's wrong with you? You've been enjoying yourself under me for three years, and you still haven't forgotten about your big brother. I wonder what my brother would think if he knew his beloved goddess was enjoying so happily in bed. This is my brother, Matter. He doesn't concern you. You try to distance yourself from him so easily. I could easily sell you as a second hand and make a good profit. So what are you planning to do? <laughs> Let go of me! Let go! Mr. Lewis, what brings you here to entertain me? I brought you a special guest, Mr. Lee. Indeed, Mr. Lewis. What you bring is top notch. <laughs> More pretty than other girls. Who wants you to win things with me, right? So, go ahead. So, if I spend time with Mr. Lee tonight, then we'll have nothing to do with each other? Of course. Nobody's. As eager as you, I have standards, and I never want second-hand users. All right. Tonight, I'm Mr. Lee's companion. Why are you standing that far? Come, have a drink with me. Mr. Lewis, mighty generous of you. Such a beautiful woman. And you have her over to me like that. Just a side piece. I don't want my wife to get jealous. So I'm getting rid of her earlier. You're a little wixed. Have fun. <laughs> Mr. Lewis must have taught you how to play somewhere, right? Mr. Lee, I just came from outside. Can I hit the shower first? <laughs> Why, sure. I like having what others left. This feels terrible. Oh, true, man. It's much better. <laughs> Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! You slipping! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! But I told you, I don't want pre-owned stuff. I didn't let him touch me. I taught you the drill. <sighs> w what are you doing here? I heard you were here on business. So I thought I'd bring a nice bottle of wine for you. Jimmy, what are you two up to? Miss Clark had so much drink. I think she had been confused with someone else. So? Let me help Miss Clark get sober. Miss Clark should be sober now, right? Are you settled now? I'll take you back. Jimmy, what am I to you? Hi there. I'd like to visit my father. Miss Clark, can you come back another time? Your father got into a scuffle, so he can't have any visitors today. What happened to my dad? He got into a fight, got hit in the head, and he's currently unconscious. How did this happen? Don't you folks take care of things? 
in this place? We're doing our best to keep Otter here. Not everyone in prison is an angel, you know? Please. Please, I'm begging you. Take care of him. No, no, no. He's a criminal, and there's a strict supervision from above. I can't take that risk. Hey, Jimmy. My dad was attacked today. Did you arrange for it? Cindy, I'm not that free. Well, my father was fine earlier. Earlier? When your father was in prison, you begged me to pull some strings in the prison. Your father is a cop, and locked up with criminals he arrested. This is the outcome. Have you really forgotten why you were with me for three years? I thought my brother can do things better than me. You jerk, Jimmy. Hello? Hello, Cindy. Annie! How many times do I need to say it? We're done! Leave me alone! Cindy, I generally want to make it right. I heard about your uncle's situation. Don't worry, I will talk to the people in the prison. They won't give your father a hard time. Thank you. No need to thank me. It's the least I can do. Finally, after waiting for so long for those folks protecting Patrick Clark to leave, <laughs> why don't they just finish him off directly? Oh, Cindy, you're out on time. The wedding dress Miss White and Mr. Lewis ordered is here. Please deliver it in person. Manager, can someone else handle it? Oh, Mr. Lewis specifically asked for you. Don't be unappreciative. Consider it a favor. I... If you mess up this order, don't bother staying here any longer. Okay, I get it. I'll go. <sighs> Miss Clark. Cindy. Huh? Why are you here? Miss Clark, why is it you? Have you met before? More than that, Miss Clark is my designated stylist for the wedding. Right, Jenny? Since the dress is already here, why don't we give it a try, Miss Clark? You and Jimmy, it's more than just a Flynn, isn't it? I don't really know Mr. Lewis that well. <laughs> Stop <sighs> pretending, no matter how high you jump. You're just a secret lover, lurking in the shadows. I'm the real Mrs. Lewis. It'd be as easy as squashing to you. I wouldn't dare. I I can only admire Miss White. What good is having a pretty face? In this lifetime, you're only fit to kneel at my feet and fetch my shoes. Cindy, does it hurt? What it is? I did it by myself. Cindy, it's getting late. And Jimmy's wedding is tomorrow. Why don't you stay here today? It doesn't seem right. There's nothing wrong with it. And there are plenty of guest rooms here. Or you could stay with me. Cindy, don't be unappreciative. No man would be as patient with you as I am. Or is it that you don't care about saving your father anymore? Andy, you're insulting me! Cindy, I really like you. Just do as I say. <laughs> Big brother, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> what are you doing? This is my house too. I don't need your permission to go anywhere. You! Mom just woke up, and she's asking for you. Stay here tonight and get some rest. The stuff will fix up a room for you. You talk to Andy? Is he that impatient? Yeah, he found me since he got back. I asked for help. He loves me and I love him too. So Mr. Lewis shouldn't be so strict. Say that again? Jimmy, you're getting hitched and I don't want to be your side piece. I'm ready to forget these three years. 
respect for your brother. Please let me go. Andy had his fun abroad. I'm curious if what I told you is enough to please him. Let me remind you myself. If you scream any loud, it shows that you've been fooling around with your boyfriend's brother. Let go of me, Jimmy! What are you up to? <coughs> you tramp. It looks like the lesson I gave you didn't sink in. It's late. Why haven't you left yet? Jimmy, I just told to Auntie, and she agreed I could stay the night here. I'll take you back then. Jimmy, I'm your fiancé. Why can she stay and I can't? You're Miss White, the future Mrs. Lewis. I won't touch mm -hmm. you until you're married. Please excuse me. I need to step out for a moment. <laughs> Sister-in-law, you look stunning today. Congratulations on your wedding. Let me raise a toast to you. It is my wedding day. I won't drink. If you want, I can introduce someone to you. Whew. I'm not interested in the guy. Don't worry. It's my makeup artist for this wedding. I guarantee her beauty will impress you. Jimmy! It's her wedding day! Are you here to humiliate me? I thought you were already accustomed to it. Jimmy, when will you ever let me set free? Set you free? Haven't we always had an equal arrangement? And do you truly believe that Andy can save your dad? Yeah. Clean up and wait for me tonight. You must be Miss Clark, Ray. <sighs> what a beauty you are. Who are you? Miss Clark, why is a distant? I just want to share a drink with you. Thanks, but I don't drink. <laughs> well, do you know who I am? I'm offering our drink as a sign of respect. Let go of me or I call for help. You will be having that glass of wine tonight, whether you like it or not. Don't touch me! Help me! Come on, little beauty, just relax. I won't harm you. <laughs> Jimmy, please. Is there the phone, please? Jimmy, help me. <sighs> Whose call is it? Nothing. Just a prank call. Let's go. I'll hang up for you. <sighs> you! How dare you bite me? Isn't the phone, Jimmy? Who else are you trying to call? If my team came today, no one can save you! Jimmy, please help me. No one's coming to help you. Don't touch me. I will help you. <laughs> Cindy, are you okay? Please get me out of here. Take me away now. Don't worry, Cindy. I will take you to the hospital. The patient has only suffered minor injuries. There's nothing serious. Doctor, are you certain she's okay? The patient is, however, severely shocked. Our focus should be on calming her down. But that's not what I mean. I mean, are you sure there are no other injuries? Oh, I know you are asking now. There are no signs of assault on the patient's body. You can rest assured. That's a relief. <sighs> Cindy, you're up. What time is it? You've only been asleep for a short while. Are you hungry? I'll go grab you something to eat. Brand? Wasn't he my father's formal colleague? Why is he in contact with Andy?
What's going on here? Is my father's imprisonment connected to them? Oh, you've learned to hide a knife. Is it for Andy or for me? Didn't I tell you to wait for me to return? Jimmy, we're in a hospital. My older brother arranged for this 